Hi there, and welcome to Stereo 3D Productions. Wow, hang on a sec. Hi there, and welcome to Stereo 3D Productions. Damn, does that sound better or what? Okay, jokes aside, I got myself a wireless microphone setup. Finally, finally, no more echoey as fuck commentary tracks during room scale VR. We're gonna have some nice, crisp audio. All right, uh, now that the announcement is made, it's time to get into Fallout 4 VR. Oh, well, goddammit. I mean, I don't have any super sampling on, so I'm not like over rendering here, but I already find this really good looking. I've very recently experienced this game with the Vive Cosmos, and this is the closest match between the two headsets I could say I've seen. It's probably because I'm not super sampling. I'd start noticing a difference were I to do that. But for one, it's not necessary for me to uh, super sampling with the recording and everything. I can actually tank my system more than I'd like to. Uh, for one and for two, uh, when I played with the Cosmos, I also was not super sampling, so I'd like to do a one-to-one -one comparison here, because yes, I'm not just doing the Fallout 4 VR Let's Play, I'm still in the process of digging my fingers into the Valve Index. And so far, I've been very impressed. Uh, in fact, when it comes to my first impressions review of the Valve Index, it's gonna take me a bit longer than it did with the Cosmos. Reason being that usually, uh, I tend to be very critical of things, including things I like very much. And right now, uh, if I were to like jump into the review, I would probably declare this headset as the best one of the generation. I've been very, very impressed. But here's the problem now. I find myself in a way where I'm hyping myself and I am I may actually be overlooking problems that I'll encounter down the line. So I'm trying to give this headset a bit more use and a bit more time before I go and jump on any conclusions. Even though it's a first impressions review, I still want that first impressions to be um, at least developed a little bit. I don't want to just jump in cold as I often do on this channel. I, I, I think this headset deserves a closer look, a detailed look, and uh, just, I, I gotta be careful with it because so far I'm so impressed that I could actually just jump the gun and make it seem like it's better than it is. Uh, it's very hard to be critical of this kit so far, is, is what I have to say about that. Now, Okay, today I've got a plan. I, I, I'm not going to wander. I'm not going to Giant Red Lobster Incorporated. Uh, what I will do is I'm actually going to go in that direction-ish. Uh, I watched bits of my original Fallout 4 Let's Play, which was done with Vorpex, uh, also in VR, just seated VR, no motion controllers. And um, I saw that I pick up a very important weapon at some point in the Let's Play before I actually end up doing the, uh, the, the, the fucking giant lobster. So I think I'm gonna need that gun. I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get away with not using that gun. It's a, basically a laser rifle. It's just much better than the fucking piece of shit laser musket that they give you at the beginning of the game that's like, Hey, are you joking me? Is, is, is this an actual joke? Anyways, uh, so that's, that's going to be my plan today. It's going to be to actually go and um, experience that mission, which uh, happens to be near Beantown Brewery. So I'm going to slowly head my way there. I can see... Is, is that Concord? I'm a bit lost here. Yeah, that is Concord, actually. I see the houses on top of a cliff there from part one. So, let's enjoy this view here. Wow. It's looking really good here. It's looking really, really good here. There's a lot of aliasing in this game. But then again, that's what I saw in the cosmos as well. Uh, 
This, this is actually some excellent pixel density. This is what I could call Gen 2 pixel density. It's a lot greater than the Oculus Quest, for example, but it's not greater than the Vive Cosmos. I have said this in a few of my recent videos, that yes, it looks like the Vive Cosmos may not have the hottest field of view in the world, but damn that pixel density. It does beat what I'm looking at right now. But uh, like I said, this is, this is totally second gen VR pixel density. It looks absolutely great. So uh, the one thing about this second gen VR is that I'm using Valve Index controllers and this game does not support them directly. So you have to use mappings, but, 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 what I did today is I found a mapping that actually relies on the fix that I showed for the Vive Cosmos in the last episode of this Let's Play series. So there is a fix where you download an open VR API DLL, a replacement DLL that you put in the game's folder. I actually demonstrated this last part, so I'm just going to quickly show it on screen again how to do this, and there's going to be instructions in the description on how to do this. All right, so to get this working, first you actually do that DLL replacement I just showed, and then you go in Steam VR. You can do this in VR or on the desktop, whichever you prefer. It's going to be the same. You go in the Steam VR settings, then you go to controllers, and then you go manage controller bindings. And from there, what you want to do is select Fallout 4 VR in the list of applications. And active controller binding, change that from default to custom. And the next thing you want to do is hit choose another. And this is going to open the community list of controller mappings for Fallout 4 VR, you want to take Index as Touch with Custom Open VR DLL. So go ahead and view that and hit Select This Binding. And there you go, you are done. You are ready to play Fallout 4 VR with your Valve Index. And as far as the uh, controls go, it's just identical to touch so far. In fact, there's a few improvements to this mapping, so I'm quite impressed with it. I know it's the first in the list and I could explore 10 of them, but when I try the first one and I like it, I tend to stick to it for now. If I run into big problems, I'm gonna try to see if I can find another mapping, but for now, I am absolutely satisfied. Something else I just remembered, uh, I actually didn't just remember it, I just saw it, is I, before I was gonna make this Let's Play, like I, I, I play like so intermittently in terms of pace that I tend to forget stuff. And something I thought of before starting this episode was, um, where did I leave my power armor? Well, that looks like I know. I think instead of walking it all the way to Sanctuary, I, I just left it there. I was like, fuck this, I'm not, I'm not gonna walk this thing all the way to Sanctuary and just waste it. So this should be Walden Pond? Oh shit. Who's there? This is gonna be fun. Nice. Fuck yeah. It's the first time that I really use that V sight on any gun. And it fucking worked beautifully. Whoa. Oh, that's who she was shooting at. Oh, nice. Fucking wasted a bullet there. All right. Was it who she was shooting at? X search, nice. Want a bit? No, I don't want none of that shit. That's all I wanted. Yeah, I can make stim packs. I knew it. Uh, make stim pack. Yes. Oh yeah, I can't. I don't remember these being the ingredients to make. Stim packs. Blood pack zero one antiseptic. Really? 
I remember the fucking glowing mushrooms having something to do with it. Oh shit. I don't know if I... You know what? Fuck this shit. Oh, Psycho and Buff out. Or, okay, 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 never mind. I'm actually gonna keep Psycho. Buff Chet. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'll make one. There we go. That was fun. That's the first time I actually consult the chemistry station in a long ass time. Okay. Um. Let's get on with this. So this should be Walden Pond. I am hoping to sh Oh shit. I, I could sh completely forgot to do something. All right. There's the sprint. Sprint works quite well. Hey dog, are you enjoying that ladder? Where is the body of the dude? Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, I prefer using this now. Then I'm really sure of what I'm taking or what I'm not taking. So uh, I'm gonna go. Hopefully the game releases you from that location. <laughs> he looks happy. I mean, that's, that's what counts. What is this? Walden Pond. I've already discovered this place because I didn't get a fucking prompt about it. That's so fucked. Yeah, empty. But... Oh. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> what? That actually... You didn't see me jump, but that actually gave me two heart attacks and a half right there. That <laughs> that actually got to me, man. I didn't scream, but inside I sure did. Holy shit. This is weird. I'm going to have to be careful now. There's people stacking cars in... I mean, what is this? Easter Island? But with cars? Uh... This doesn't look like that. There's, there's somebody here doing this shit. So I'm, I'm gonna be extra careful. Right, I gotta, gotta cross the highway at least. And there's a bus here, and it looks like I can explore it. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, yes. Search. And his damn stim pack. I don't want your stim pack. Rest. You can go ahead and keep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ammo box. No. Are you fucking serious? Are, are, are you for real? That. That is what I call a hell of a deal. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, Christ. No. Wow, that, that thing is uh, resistant. Or, or not so much. Come on! Nice! Okay, there's another one. It's going away. Uh-oh. Okay, my health is good. Run? Or, yeah, here. I, I got a feeling like this thing can actually explode. Get, get, get the fuck out of the way, dog. So let's see if there's more of these. Okay, no, there's only one unit. It's right here. And I can hear the other stingwing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Can I actually sharpshoot it? No, but it actually reacted to that. Huh? Did that really hurt me that bad? Come on, die already. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, don't come back.
All right, empty cabinet. Ooh, okay. Duct tape, fuse, and turpentine. I will take the turpentine. Empty. And can I take this tractor? That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. All right. I do not remember this. There we go. All right, so I'm at least partly the right location. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. This is the place I've been looking for. That's my landmark. It's not my destination, but I may actually visit it anyway. All right, I've picked up the quest that is related to that radio message. So that will actually keep my destination highlighted on the map. So I'm very, very close, but I am going to get some beer. It's time to go get some beer, folks. I don't even remember going over this bridge. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, you bet I do. I remember that crack over there. Okay, keep it in your inventory and I'll pick it up later. No? Maybe? Wouldn't that be cool? Please? Yeah, I remember. I actually stopped and looked down this crack because I was like, holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's coming back. All right, the Beantown Brewery, folks. Here we go. It's gonna be the first location I visit in this episode. Hopefully, the first of two. There we go. Now, if I recall properly, I have to be careful here. I have to be nice and careful. I may want to do something different with the weapons. Short double bear, short hunting rifle is what I may want here because I got ammo for it. Um, is reload? I think reload is a, we'll see. Oh yeah, I remember this fucking place. And I actually had freaked out because there's a mannequin over there and I thought it was a person. So there's a little monkey there. I heard electricity. I'm, I'm gonna be so weary of traps now, this fucking game with their traps. What was that? Oh, that was me pushing a door. Oh shit. Nice. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna disappear here for a moment. At least my audio is still gonna be fucking audible. Oh yeah, you wonder what what that was, eh? Nice shot. I think he killed him. I'm not sure. Yeah. Good job, Doc. Well, my hand is not steady. That is not tracking. That's my hand, by the way. I'm nervous right now. I'm actually really nervous. Okay, that was tracking. Just saw a fucking glitch like crazy. 
God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to that guy. Bastard. Oh shit. I should consider doing a couple of these. <laughs> like a couple at least. Oh, I didn't realize I was taking so much damage. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna stop doing this. They ain't working. Uh, which direction do I have more cover in? I can actually use this cover. What? I wasn't able to move there. I fucking hate it when that happens. Get up the This guy fucking point blank with a shotgun, eh? Fucking hell. <laughs> the fuck did you eat for supper, bitch? Oh. If you're wondering why I'm like this, as the end of the day, and I... I like coffee, okay? I, I'm sorry, I really like coffee and my fucking hands are shaking <laughs> to fuck. Uh, yeah, and I'm also nervous. I mean, I know about this place. I know there's a lot of enemies to clear out. And when I watched me playing through this uh, with Vorpex, I actually had a hard time, much more of a hard time than I did now. So that is that. Bottle caps in the storage. You, I checked out. There's an elevator there. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, one of these. So th I, I, I don't like this puzzle because I'm never sure when it says likeness. Does it mean letters in any order? Or does it mean that there is like that letter has to be at the same place in the correct word? I've always wondered that. Likeness two. You see, does it mean? That there's an F, an O, an L, or a D, two of those letters in the word in any order? Or does it mean that there is... Actually, let's test that logic. Likeness one. See, that, 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 that's... Now that screws me. I, I would assume it's the D. So... Let's try this one. Likeness zero. So it is the same place. Like, the letters have to be... The letters that are the same have to be at the same place. Feed? But no, that... Oh, actually, that would mean that the F was not correct. Um... Shit. Um... That is not good. Yell? No. Fled? I tried. Feed? Let's ties roll. Oh, oh, I think I found it. I think I got it. Yeah! Hey, it's the first time that I actually use my brain to solve one of these and don't just fucking solve it by luck. So the letters are like the good letters when it says likeness, they are placed exactly where they are in the correct word. It's not just the letters in any order. That helps to know. How the fuck did she get loose? I chained that bitch to the fucking floor. Was still half asleep when she came at me. I thought I was aiming at her leg. Now there's blood fucking everywhere. Got to clean this up. Do something with the body. This can't get out. Red's not gonna give a shit if she finds her sister's dead. Rumor of a fat caravan train drifted in today. Whole crew went to hit it, except it never showed, because it didn't exist. While everyone was out, I stashed Lily's body in one of the vats. 
I think she even improved on the. F I think she even improved the flavor. Ew, that's one problem solved. But this gang's dead in the water unless the food keeps coming in, and that means Lily's letters have to keep going out. I'm gonna need to find some more pens. Seems somebody took down Jared. Much as I hated the chem hungry bastard, he was no pushover. We're gonna need more guns. I really like the Bean Town Brewery story. Ooh! Actually, grab. Welcome to Robocoats Terminator. This holotape contains encoded subroutines for the brewing of Gwynedd brand, the Red Coat Ale. Attempting to use these brewing subroutines without licensing agreement is considered theft of corporate secrets and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. If found, please return to your local Gwinnett Brewery for a cash reward. Cool. Good job. Okay. I definitely don't hear anybody. I think I took everybody out. This is a lot better than my Vorpex playthrough. I did not do this good in the Vorpex playthrough. Now I'm feeling that this just... Okay, there's, there's this wooden crate with nothing in it. Nice. This just takes me back upstairs to where I was. I'm just, I'm just check it. Just in case I missed something. Oh. Cat's that steak. And I think this is an exit. Oh no, it's not. Oh shit, 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 shit. Shit. Nice. Oh shit, there's two. Nice. Nice. This gun. I did well to wait. I had a lot of ammo for it. Okay, um, I, um, the game fucking crashed on me. The, the game actually fucking crashed on me while I was switching weapons. Fortunately, I saved very recently, so I didn't lose much. I mean, I already have this gun and everything. But uh, I was in the process of demonstrating something really simple and fucking while switching weapons, the game crashed on me. So something I actually researched uh, since I last played this game with the uh, Vive Cosmos is I thought that this gun used the same ammo as, please hold, this gun here. But they clearly do not. They actually do not. So I'm gonna go back to the hunting rifle because I've been accumulating ammo for it for a while without actually using it. Because I, I thought I was using it through the short hunting, uh, short combat rifle. But no, they use two different types of ammo, which is very good. Because now I have one more gun than I did when I did my Vorpex playthrough. I'm just missing that laser gun, which I'm hoping to get. Nice. Good job, dog. Yes, master. Oh yeah, this guy, this melee guy, so he has nothing on him. 10 millimeter round, yes please. I'm not gonna take any 10 millimeter pistols. I really like the one I have right now. It's not as accurate, but it does hit pretty hard. Is that just another door? Okay, that's a locked door. There's probably gonna be some um, roaches there. Pack of cigarettes, fuck the pack of cigarettes. I'm gonna encumber myself. I keep thinking that I'm gonna be talking too long, my mic won't pick me up, but I'm t I, I gotta remember that I finally have a really decent audio technique right now with the fucking wireless mic. Okay. Oh, almost broke it. Oh shit. There we go. Nice. Okay. Is there gonna be roaches in here? Oh, there's gonna be fucking people in here. Oh, there's roaches in here. Uh... Get out of the way! Stupid fucking dog. Nice. nice. 
just enough time to reload between the two. Okay, desk, nothing, desk, nothing, thank you. Desk, nothing, cabin, nothing, whole lot of fucking nothing. Okay, fine, fine. So this, did I attack them yet down there? I'm not too keen on fucking dropping down there. I'm making absolutely sure I'm not gonna fucking get my ass killed. So I'm just gonna take a good look around here and we're gonna go on uh, drop down there. However, uh, I'm gonna be a bit more frequent with these. The game's gonna fucking crash. Oh, it's the beginning of the fucking map. Tour price 25, complimentary tasting. Five. <laughs> you, they charge for the damn tasting. Full year capital spending is now estimated to increase over the previous year thanks to budget tightening and a lowering of quality control in the product, including an increase in water to work ratio. Brand management has also in, in announced a marketing push of Bunker Hill Brew to lower income markets, which we all know spend a larger percentage of disposable income on beer and malted beverages. Gross margins are speculated to increase well into 2078. All right, I just made a little change here because uh, I'm noticing some weird distorted frames in my view sometimes. It's very, very momentary. When I think I realized what's going on. Um, okay, in addition to uh, this beautiful audio upgrade where I have... Oh, shit. That hurt me. That better not have hurt me. I'd have been pissed off there. I'm far away from it. So in addition to this wonderful new wireless microphone setup, I also, um, uh, I've just upgraded to Windows 10. I completely forgot to mention that. It's a pretty big deal because I've been on Windows 7 for quite a while now. And I upgraded to Windows 10, which allows me to use motion smoothing in Steam VR. And it turns out that I would not recommend using motion smoothing with this game because it really doesn't work that well. Okay, there's another trap there. And it did fuck all. How come? Was it the same trap as the other one? I guess so. These fucking traps, man. Okay, well, uh, in this sense, I know that I'm in a place where probably haven't gone yet. There we go. It's grip to reload. Or I've actually been in here. Commonwealth unlock advanced, not gonna happen. Unless there's like a terminal that I can activate in order to unlock that door. I do not think that's gonna happen. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit at a loss as to what else I gotta check out in here. Oh, maybe this? Or no, that's, that's the elevator. Is that a, have I already cleared this entire place? I believe I might have. I believe I might have. Oh, this rain. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that. I can practically feel that rain. Okay. So if I remember properly, I should probably hear gunfire. The moment I arrive there, there will be a good deal of ghouls so i probably gonna want to switch to this gun to make sure that i actually get them it's a guy with a power armor who's gonna help me but uh there's also gonna be a shit ton of ghouls and i don't have the ghoul sights anymore so this is gonna be actually tricky there we go nice Can I point a gun? What the fuck? This fucking game with its hit probability bullshit. Oh look, it's gonna be the same. Yeah! <laughs> so the loot is super similar to... Oh shit. Um, oh, I'm just injured. Okay, well I'll let my dog deal with this shit. Oh shit.
Yeah. Fuck. I, I didn't expect so many to come at me. Bottle cap, 36 round, 38 round, I mean. Bottle cap. Okay, I'm going to this guy. I'm gonna die? Oh my god. Holy shit. I can't believe I survived that. I really thought, like, I was like, all right, I'm a goner. The problem here is that I'm, I'm eating up stim packs. <laughs> I'm gonna need at least one to make up for that shit. Bottle cap. Take. Bye. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Uh, right up there. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, <laughs> I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, We've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir. If I may. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Absolutely beautiful. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then Thank let you. me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I just leveled. Tactical Heavy Hunting Rifle. Ooh. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Well, this is gonna work really well. I think this goes out on the roof. I don't wanna go there yet. I think they will make me go there when it comes time to installing that generator, whatever they're talking about. Um, I'm just impressed at how big this location is. Again, a lot of these interiors are a lot bigger than the Sorry about the other guys. first. Yeah, I, 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 I don't mind. I, I, don't, I honestly don't mind. All right. We'll take this alley. Follow me. I shall follow you. My dog's being annoying back there, but I'm not gonna keep you waiting too much. All right. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short-lived, broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. being weary that these guys don't actually get up <laughs> right let's keep going thank you for waiting by the way you are quite polite oh, it's looking really fucking good out here it's 
walked all this during the night, and I get to see it in daylight. This is really cool. I can run faster than you because I'm not in an armor. Although it's pretty rad that you're in an armor because you can. Oh shit! You hear that? Oh fuck! Did you? Wait a minute. Did you just fucking kill the merchants? Over the last seven years, two other teams were sent here by the Brotherhood to gather technology. The first team's mission was a huge success. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historical documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. So they haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men in this godforsaken wasteland target from the moment we arrived but despite our setbacks i don't intend to give up and head home or end up missing are you just totally obliterated a merchant did you that was <laughs> that was brutal i don't know if there's raider merchants and merchants but i don't know if you're supposed to kill that person i actually got a pretty good balance on my ammo now and i haven't been using 38 for a while, so think we're good? Do we go in? We go in. I hope he follows me. I hope he doesn't fucking ditch me. Okay, I remember this place. I think there's raiders. All right, there you are. I'm gonna go ahead. Pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's on. Ah, uh, wait. Then I see that. Damn it! I was hoping to avoid this. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Synth, isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Whoa. Can I opt out of this? I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Okay. Let's move out. Yeah, let's move out. Let's get this shit done. You should sell. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. I'm After surprised. we're done here, we'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. I don't see any raiders here. So far, at least. Oh, of course. <laughs> the fucking terminal is highlighted. Is this terminal valid? Yeah? This is all your annual reminder. This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, suspension of network privileges, and or dis disciplinary action. Please do not... Please do your part in keeping our jet systems secure. Okay, our jet lab password added. 9YB3N. Just in case I needed a password for this. Might as well take care of it right away. So, desk. Anything I can pick up here? Anything I can loot? Doesn't look like there's anything I can loot. At least not much. There's the desk here empty. Alright, let's do this. Accessing system. Please wait. Yeah, there we go. Uh, lab controls. Okay. Security door control. Open door. Accessing mag logs. Mm. 
did it finish the process? Open door. Come on. Make me wait till it fucking finishes. I should be able to exit the terminal while this thing unlocks itself. Oh, security lock released. Opening doors. There we go. Oh, shit. Since... Gotta hit you throwing. Oh, fuck. Get out of the way. Oh, there's more? Music's fucking going on. Institute Pistol Plus. I don't want to take that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Fuck! Fuck! Nice. Well, come on! I, I, I have no angle at this guy. And if I do, I get in the open. Shit! Fuck! Now, the problem is, is he's not getting out of there. Okay, fuck it. I'm staying on the short combat rifle. Okay, fucking finally. Fusion cell. Okay, please hold. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. 171 the ammo on this nice oh and it shoots blue i basically took exactly his gun exactly that synth fucking gun yeah holy shit i wonder if the institute oh shit i got an institute pistol you're gonna give me a brotherhood of steel rifle uh -huh. Uh -huh. it turns out that the institute has better guns than you do doing this. I didn't do that when I played with Vorpex. I actually took the gun he gives you instead of taking the Institute rifle. Okay, he's he he just bolted off right there. Come on, buddy, I, I gotta loot in this game. If I don't loot and fucked. Okay, he's going up those stairs. At least this one path. It's linear, so you don't get lost trying to follow him. Oh shit! Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna. Oh, you vaporized it. You, of course you did. All right, you. Thanks for saving me so much ammo, buddy. Kill them all. Nice! I like this gun because you actually see where your beam's going. Okay, he's moving fast. I'm kind of tempted to do one of these. There's nothing in here. It's almost as if they knew you'd be following this guy so they didn't put too much on the way there. Give me a moment, sir. Okay, we're good. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Okay. Ooh. Shit. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Look at this place. Oh, there's the V. Okay. I don't entirely remember this with Vorpex. That is a rocket motor. That looks like an F1 rocket motor. The ones on uh, Saturn V. Start auxiliary generators. Driving power. Power has been restored. 
Nice. Engine core power restored. Okay, gotta be careful. I remember this starts a fucking Thermal fight. Look at that shit. And standing by for your command. Command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Five. I, I, I feel like I have to get out of there. Four. Because I forget what I'm supposed to do here. Here we go. We have the sparkers. And... They're incinerated. What about our buddy? Is he okay? There we go. Holy shit. Firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7. Wow. Fusion cell. Shock baton. Fusion cell. Oh my god, there's so many pistols around the fuck, man. You okay? Oh my god, are you alright? No, are you okay? Find those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. I'm assuming this is the what we want to do. We're going back here. Oh shit! Shit! Those guns are so powerful. Fuck! Holy Jupiter shit! Thanks, man. Fucking hell. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. Yeah, I think I got him. You got him. Nice. Oh boy, I remember this mission not being easy. Deep range transmitter! Yeah! We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Oh, so this is that's the point where we Gotcha, dude. Gotcha. Oh thank fuck I'm getting some fucking stim packs. Speaking of, just in case I get another another scrap on a Increase this health a little bit. All right, let's get on with this. This is where um, the dog glitched. I remember this. I think he, he, he literally popped in the elevator. You see those sensitive UI prompts where I try to point at something and it keeps flickering like that? There we go, <laughs> there we go. There, there's the glitching, they just popped in the elevator and he teleported out. Um, so, I, while watching my Vorpex uh, Let's Play series, I noticed that this kept happening to me all the time. Even with Phase Gun, this game has an issue selecting things in front of you. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. Okay. Whoa, 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 hold, hold, don't move out too fast. Okay, no, there's, there's fucking nothing here. I thought it'd been a little something to obtain. Oh, wow. Looks really good here. Excuse me, Paladin Vance? Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, Excuse me. I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. Of course. I think you'll find this weapon useful. 
It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. Oh. May it serve you well in battle. Oh, his is modified as well. Critical shots do double damage, and the critical meter fills 15% faster. Let's take it. Let's just fucking take it. I, I hope it doesn't make me... Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Doesn't make me encumbered. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I don't know. It's a big decision. So I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. That's basically what I answered. I, all the dialogues, I think I did exactly what I did in my original playthrough. All right, folks. Wow. This went really well. I thought, I've been reading, like, I mean, I always prepare myself mentally when I have to do something funky like controller mappings. So I've been reading on forums, and people don't seem satisfied with the options they have for mapping. And I'm surprised that they're not satisfied with... I, I did not have any problems. I, I barely pressed the grip button accidentally in this entire playthrough. It actually... I only actuated when I wanted it to actuate. So... I mean, this is probably one of the most sound Valve Index experiences I've had so far. And uh, I'm not saying that any of them were bad. Everything I've done, I've enjoyed with the Index so far. But this is just the most normal one. Like, I didn't once wonder, oh, why did this happen? Why is this doing that? It's, everything is just virtually perfect? And this is a Bethesda game? What? Huh? Eh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It was giving me the fucking hog's energy. Ooh. Ooh. And I fell in this beautiful pond. I was... I keep shooting at the super mutant, wondering why is an energy go, not going down? What did you eat for supper? But it turns out, uh, for some reason... Again, it's one of these, like, the UI that comes up. It's not always in line with what you're holding, so... You'll tend to get a lot of this going on, this flickering shit. Well, it was actually doing exactly that with a dog. Holy fuck. Ah, shit. <laughs> the last second I fucking realized it's, it's, I'm fucking going for the dog here. All right, folks, this, is, this has been incredible. I first run with the wireless microphone. That's gone beautifully. Hopefully the audio is recorded correctly. I don't know yet because I'm still doing this. Uh, running on Windows 10 and capturing on Windows 10, first video I make uh, since I've upgraded. Everything went fine in that respect. Again, I haven't checked the file and everything, but I, I've done testing. I, I, I did cover my bases before I started recording an actual Let's Play part. When it comes to the index of the controller mapping, everything went beautifully. So this is... Uh, I'm happy to know that I'll be able to play Fallout 4 VR with the index whenever I want. And uh, here's what I'm headed for. I mean, uh, my, my decision is that if I really like the index, I'm not gonna go and force myself to get multiple headsets for the second generation. I would like to be able to streamline everything and always use the same headset. It's just one thing that bothers me when the index, and it has nothing to do with the gameplay. One big, big thing. Uh, the SteamVR mirror window includes the lens mask that they have for SteamVR. So when I produce my video, I have to zoom into the image a little bit more so you don't see the edges of those. And in some cases, especially when it comes to the stereoscopic 3D video, uh, I, I have no choice but to have them in view a little bit because they're so... Like, this is the most amount of masking I've ever seen on a VR mirror image 
And it does cause me problems. I, I do wish that SteamVR introduced an option to disable that mask. Woo! Oh yeah. To disable that mask completely so I can have a better capture. This is not a problem I had with the Cosmos, which has a full screen stereoscopic image. And that's a... One could say that's a nitpick, but if you watch my 3D video, the 3D equivalent of the videos here, you know what I'm talking about with that mask. It's there, it's been there for a few videos now. And you can see on the right edge of this very video that there's a rounded fade to that blurred background. That's also part of that mask, so... Not much I can do for now but to fucking accept it, but I do wish it was not there. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick save, folks. Thanks for watching. You've been watching Stereo 3D Productions Fallout 4 VR. This is absolutely delightful. I am liking the Valve Index more and more, more I use it. And I also really enjoy this game, I gotta say. Uh, last five times I've played it, I've really enjoyed it. Make it a sixth today. Everything went perfectly. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And I also never noticed that the uh, skies actually scroll by in the skybox. Stars are just basically moving in comparison to the moon. That is very cool.